Hi all. So welcome to today's session which we are going to deal on past continuous. Today being the sixth day as part of our tenses in 10 days module. Let us do a bit recap. So let us see what we have done on day 5. Day 5 we have seen that present simple past. Now we are going to see past continuous. Simple past we have seen that you know for, for all the activities completed in the past we have used simple past. Now we are going to see past continuous. Past continuous means activities continuing in the past. We use past continuous, continuous tense for all the activities continuing in the past. Structure is I, he, she, it. For all this, it would be was plus V4 and V, you, they plus were plus V4. Here was and were are the helping verbs. Let me give you one example. I am teaching now is present continuous tense. But yesterday this time if I am teaching you it would be called as past continuous. Means the activity happening or continuing from one point of time to another point of time in the past. I was playing yesterday this time. Here we were discussing then means some point of time in the past again if we just look at the question pattern since we have helping verb here was and were directly we can interchange as we all know that by now my students who have been watching this video they must be aware that the question starts with helping verb and then followed by subject so but for answering or for statement it just goes with subject followed by helping verb. So let us see that also. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Questions? Sorry. Was plus I, he, she, it plus V4 and again were plus V, you, they plus V4. Example, was he doing homework? Was he doing homework? Question mark. Here again. Were you asking me? Question mark. This is how the pattern. I have just given one example. You can try the, with the help of the structures many examples. And you will see a lot difference and make use of this tense also. Immediately once you know the structure. And that is how we can use these tenses in our day to day communication. And you will become a perfect communicator without any mistakes in speaking correct English. So in this day 6 we have seen past continuous. So past continuous tense is used for the activities continuing in the past. So keep practicing and in day 7 in our next module we will be dealing on the tense past perfect. Thank you.